Will this drone fly with the 1865 Zero battery? Whoa! No, 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 no! 45 grams. 56 grams. The original one. 24 grams. So this thing is twice as uh, heavy. 45. 24. Let me turn on my eco plug as the power source for my solar ion. Okay, let's see how many watts this thing costs. Maybe under 20 watts. That's my guess. The temperature is adjustable. I have set it to the maximum 500. Okay. It's around 70. Well, sometimes it fluctuates. Really, I don't know why. Anyway, let's wait for a while as we um, measure the voltage. I have a super cheap multimeter from Hover Freight. Let's use this one. 20 volts. it's ready um, it's not taking a lot of uh, power this is not the best soldering scale here that's one In order to reduce the weight, I'm going to remove the battery door. I'm just going to simply use the um, blue tape for the test. Okay, it's connected. Maybe the connection is a little bit loose, but we will do that later. Let me just secure the battery. Let's do our first light test. Okay, uh, take off. Whoa! It works! to do another test. This is evening time and uh, I can't wait for tomorrow to do this. Let's try it again. Take off. Whoa! No, 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 no! This is what happens when you find the drone indoor. I'm just so glad my MacBook Pro is not damaged. I think it would be a good idea to try it on the ground. Let's see if it takes off. Oh, it's too heavy. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Fail. Yeah, unfortunately, I think the battery may be too heavy for the drone to lift off. It is kind of, you know, dragging to the ground so maybe I, I can figure out a way to further reduce the weight of this drone maybe it may work with the um, 1865 lithium-ion batteries thanks for watching